You're in my chair. I will get off here. <laughs> I am off of your chair. I don't know, you give me that look like, why are you just standing there? <laughs> no, no, I was just, you know, preparing myself to get off the chair. <laughs> Staring at I know. I'll get off your chair. happens when you get married, folks. You start arguing about chairs. Mm-hmm. About everything. <laughs> Alright, we should be all set up. Alright. We're going to resume that. This map is fucking huge. Alright, let me get my bearings. Yes, we are distracting this golem at the bottom by making him go after our five health pony. Golem want, wants to punch my horse. Mm -hmm. Like, very deeply. Which, which basically means the golem is irrelevant. A little bit, a little bit. I'm a little terrified to find out what her groove is. I'm sure it'll be fine. Alright, so now I have to move forward. Also, I added the gold. Uh, oh, yes. One. Thank you. Good to have those up on stream. Because mm -hmm. we're doing that, and it's going to be great. Sure is. Alright, so just say how far forward I want to move my golem. Yeah. Probably. Mm -hmm. There'll be one archer and whoever decides they're hard enough. Uh, potentially two. Well, no, yeah, one archer. Then I might want to come up there. An archer will have about a Well, I'm like, do I want to try and draw this archer further out? But probably not. That's a tough one. They also might just not take the bait because they're dumb. Yeah. Yeah, Marcia has come down, so they should be good now. Mm -hmm. yeah, I probably want to go that far out, which is if I can. Next turn, I can like come out and punch something. Yep. Most efficient way to handle things. An archer might even go for one of my archers. That would basically cost them the rest of their turn, and then they lose their only ranged unit. Probably one. Move this one out of the way. Or I could put him. I mean, I could put him here, but that probably like, will walk me. Mm -hmm. I have my three archers there. Potentially. In a row, and then I can replace. If this one gets attacked by their archer, I can. Yeah. I'd probably put one of the mages right behind them. Yeah. They've kind of got the best movement of the stuff that's around here right now. And the healing. And heals, yes. Back them up. Alright, so let's find out. This guy's range is fine. And fine. Yeah, so like right on the path here. down there or in the grass. Are both fine. And in and in and. If I go here, we'll see if he follows south. He didn't last time. No, but then I went further away last time. But yeah, we'll see if he goes back up. And he goes back up. I just put my pony back here and be like, "You gonna come, come get me again, bro?" And he might come get me again because he's an idiot. All right. Everyone else is. Dark a Mark is not the best strategist, perhaps. What happens now? Mm -hmm. Now. Now what? Archer went down. Interesting. Okay, this is interesting. Um. It's interesting. I 
my golem to come. Mm hmm. I feel like we still want to do it. Yeah, I wonder why I could like, I just keep it. Mm -hmm. So full health archer out front. It should only take like one attack, like yeah. conscious archer, if you like the alchemist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even if he gets the absolute shit kicked out of him, like you just pull him back and heal him with Mercia's power and or mages. Yeah, I don't think any of them can crit. The alchemist certainly can't crit. Yeah. Um, Dogs can't if the archers, you know, like, Yes. Here. Can't get surrounded by pups. Uh, yeah, as long as it's a while. Like, I went down and it's actually just over me. It does help a lot, yes. Yeah, if I have, like, two archers. That's probably I think I think that's in our best interest in general. Like, nothing else is really dangerous to us if their archers are dead. I think even we're first, uh, um, out there. Mm-hmm. My like, golem should fine. I yeah, think so. Only really, especially if I put it like here, it's only yeah. attacked by like three things. And frankly, they're probably still scared of it. Yeah, yes, absolutely. That's really the big thing that like they won't actually go for the attacks that might be able to bring it down. Without range, they just don't have enough beef to like even dent it. Probably have my archer die. Potentially have, like, Mercia move as far forward as she Mercia can. Mercia is definitely moving as far forward as possible. Which She's I think is where this back is. archer is. Yeah. And then she can potentially wall up for injured archers. Yeah, she can wall up later. Now pubs can't crit, which is good. Might yeah. even put like a mage there uh, in front of Mercia. Uh, yeah, yeah, potentially. Depends on what the battlefield looks like next, if we'd want one rushing out. Yeah, I don't even want an archer out the way here. Yeah, that, that would be dead. <laughs> Here's fine. Uh, yeah, like an alchemist, like, it would be able to get out like here. Yeah. And potentially do like some fuels. On my golem. Also true, yeah. Alright, let me see if I can lure this guy back over. Back into the gateway? Hello! Hi! Well, you wanna come get me, bro? I'm right here, bro! Well, you wanna come fight? Come, come fight me? Somebody come fight this! You come fight this! I just might not wanna go outside, which is all. Mm hmm. It would hit its head in the doorway. Without feeling, like, yeah, an <coughs> yeah. alchemist in here and like can run out and give the golem a heal, you know? Yes, and that would also be quite good. It's, yeah, that's the max of that guy's range. Yep, he is now relevant again. If in the back. I like this setup. Up oh, here. Technically closer. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I think that's all I'm gonna do. She is miles away from her feet. Yes. But, uh, once she starts brawling, she'll uh, pop it back up. Oh, yeah, I reckon once you damage her, she's gonna like. Sleep yeah. Here. No, I'm sure those units just won't be relevant at all. No, just kill him here. It'll be fine. They were just for show. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, oh, hello. hello. Interesting. Honestly, that archer is making a move. Stays further away. That yeah, that kind of just lets you go out and about. Archer's like. I think he's like angling for the for the wagon or the something. Wagon, maybe, yeah. You probably move your cavalry out before we start undoing this, just so we don't forget a bit later. Yep. All right, so same same. Same thing. shit. We're just gonna get that. Golem in a loop and never deal with it. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with basically taking it out of play. Yep. Oh shit, guys. No, you're good. I was like, did I miscount that? No, <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. It is in the exact same position. All right, yeah. So this golem can punch. Anything it feels like. Yep. Now 
I probably have... Uh, this archer needs to move so we're seeing no further now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess it's kind of down to if we want the mage to uh, push out and kill that spearman, or if we don't think it's time yet. It's an interesting question. I don't think he'd kill, but he would definitely hobble. Yeah, he'd for sure. He'd potentially die in retaliation, though. That might just be one more turn until we charge everyone out. Yeah, I think Mercia's gonna go there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be one more turn when we charge out. Yep. Yeah, I need to, like, this guy back. I think it could, I think it'll be the mage moving backwards and then... Yeah, like, one spot. space. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah I'll so. probably move, like... And I think that's fine. Element. And then this mage can always move forward if necessary yep. as well. Yeah. Um, Uh, I, I probably just keep the same formation with mm -hmm. Mercia in the front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then with Marcia and the golem, your archers should be safe to just march out. Marcia did the damage that for, is true. for charging her groove, actually. Yes, I think that that's probably better. what we want to do. Alright, so... So yeah, move the uh, soldier out of the way. Move the mage into the soldier's spot. Move the four health archer into that. Explode. Charge some of this groove a wee bit. Yep. Yep, we're at 70% now. Beautiful. I I like that. I like charging it. I like having her out front so she gets attacked, charges it even more. Yeah, I might even have like the golem attack the mage rather yes. than the spearman, because the spearman will almost certainly make a stupid attack on Mercia. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like have my golem run up and Damage here. Do some boots. And I think they're still too scared to actually, like, you know, do anything about the golem. I see what this archer decides to do. I feel like he's angling for the wangling. Which. <laughs> Hi! I'll give it one more turn. If he, like, comes yeah. outside, because he can only go there, I'll, yeah. just, I'll just have my wagon go out here. Then the wagon just The wagon's fucks a little off. stuck right there. Yes. Yeah. He can just, like, fuck off out here. Got Archers that APC are fever. incredibly annoying, so anything that uh, helps me not. I'm I'm sort of that. the same with the golem, yeah. Alright, so I'm probably gonna put Pony here. Mm, yeah, Pony's gonna be able to go out and do some snackies yeah. next turn. Alright, <coughs> well, I think that's where we wanna be. I like pretty much everything we got going on here. That guy's done. Yep. Well, back up he comes. Well, this is all fine. Oh, okay. Wow, that's... Yeah, that takes a lot. Wow, even a golem takes the hell of crap back from her. Yeah. Leaders do pretty good against golems, honestly. Alright. See if I've come out far enough that this guy will not come and chase me. But... Nice. All right. Mm. That's the good. largely irrelevant. And I probably fling Mercia in a pretty decent amount of danger yes. here. I mean, if you hit that other mage with either Mercia or the Golem, or um, I think you're, like, she's in not really any danger. I can even. Yeah. If I yeah. Have we this blow archer up. Attack this one. The other archer attack the swordsman. Yeah, with a crit. I like that. Then I can have the pony come out as well, because, yep. uh, yeah, he'll be dead. Yep, there won't be really anything that could fight the pony either. I like all of what's happening here. In fact, is the pony six squares away from the... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like that. Yeah, I like uh, all of that. What does the archer do to the swordsman? Okay, hobble, not kill, but basically completely. irrelevant. Yeah, honestly, I think... I think you can hit everything here. I'm pretty sure I can. I can even In like fact, you'll even have someone left over. Yeah. yeah. I think this to destroy this. Yep. Good. Yes. Delete that. Delete that. Delete the whole man. I don't want to go here because I don't want to block... I want her to come yes, out. Yes, it would be I, preferable. I would like her to come out and do an attack. Mm-hmm. 
Um, so it's probably here to attack this one. Uh, Marcia probably finishes off something. Probably, potentially that swordsman up there, or like the lower swordsman, so the arrow, the archer shoots and then Marcia finishes and that'll yeah, get her power. Yeah, her power. Which might have to counter this power. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Yeah, this arm's gonna even come out and finish uh, this dude. Yeah, piece. nice. Yep, totally safe. That spearman in the room is all in the throne room is also a bit confused. I know, personal. And if she attacks the horse, the horse should still live, so that much is fine. That's potentially worth it. And it's at 39%, so I'd like to get it above yeah. 50. Yeah. I like that. Like, we're getting 50 gold a kill anyway, so, like, yeah. we might as well use them. All my spearmen. They're back a little here. stuck. Yeah, I could do it from here. I think mm -hmm. that'd be pretty good. Mm -hmm. Force her to go way out if she wants to attack that. Uh, yeah, she's gonna have to either come here or here or to attack the horse from there. Yeah. Um, she can't get to Mercia, which I'm fine with. I'm fine with her not punching. Yep. I like this. And that's out of archer range. Yep. The archer, archer is gonna get demolished. The archer got a little confused. Yeah, yeah if there, he decides he wants it, to move up but, at all. Yeah. Our poor spearmen. I know. They're gonna let our trundle along behind. Up, 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 up. They are not conducive to A ranks. Yeah, I've already seen if we can lure this guy out. Although now, when, once we get rid of her, yes. and it's just him, and these doors are probably open. Almost certainly, yes. But they're, they're like... The first two. round of enemies around here are not that dangerous. No. It's really just the archers that we'll have to... That we'll but have if to I could poke. keep this golem down here forever... I'd it would be amazing, that. yes. <laughs> This is sort of the one time where I feel like the golem might be swayed to go up and left. Yes, now let my uh, crew come out. This is the only time that he's about as close. There we go. Neat. Oh, yep, there he is. I was expected. Oh. Now it's kind of down to whether we want our golem to get healed up now, or if we want to hold it. Yeah. Okay, good. So we can go up to there. So I can have my pony, like, start coming up. Yeah. Probably have him go left and up. That's where I'm going to be charging in. Yeah, so. he'll, he'll finally rejoin the crew. I feel at some point. Definitely want to do that. Yeah, I guess what I uh, I really want to do is try and make crap out of her, which might um, be... You do have, what, two, three archers who can attack her? Yeah. I'm going to move Mercy on. Yeah, we'll need to move a little out of the way, but... Yeah. That's uh, kind of an issue. Probably have to be Mercia because again, Mercia is like the only like, like handle. <laughs> um, I would draw it over, and then I would get like. Archer, I think that's quite and good. Heal, yeah. And a healed golem punching yeah. it. Uh, as long as she runs away at fifty percent health. I Ideally, have no yes. idea if she's gonna run away at fifty percent health. Um, I, I assume she will. I feel like if she doesn't, she'll be too low health to be that worrisome. Though her groove is her... kind of potentially... I think we do want Mercia to attack that archer, though, because that archer is just going to be too much of a problem yeah. if we don't. And I think the three cavalry plus... Or the three archers plus the cavalry... Oh, just over crit. Hilarious. Should be able to at least put a pretty good dent in her. The one right below her, so I don't want anyone but Mercia mm -hmm. in Golem range, yes. for sure. Uh, I 
might probably just start shipping away at her. Yeah. We'll see what gets her to run. I mean, archer shots on commanders are just fucking free. Which is great. I wish I'd managed to keep his attention for one more turn. I know. He's the only thing making this slightly awkward. Now, at least archer can do it. Come on. I said this is what I want to do with more steel before I get the other archer shot. And yes. What I'll probably do is have the this guy attack her. Um, yeah, after I think the that. Archer. And then at that point, if she's still hanging around, the golem should be able to get a pretty safe punch in. Like she'll be pretty low if she doesn't fuck off by fifty percent. Last time. Yeah, exactly. Yep, there's doors. Unlock your potential. Yeah, we'll see what all comes charging down. Yeah, but, yep. uh, but it will good. take them a few turns regardless, so we should be able to play supermarket sweeps here. I think now it's totally safe to have Mercia take a punch from the golem and then heal up. Oh, absolutely. That heal behind it? Absolutely. And then fire even... 500 arrows at the golem. Kind of difficult to get this pony in mm -hmm. the deal next turn. Um, not with them starting to come down. Yeah. So I, I want to put my golem I think we'll want to pivot to video pretty quickly here. Well, that's fine. If he's closer, he can get a heal yes. next time Mercia gets hers. And, like, we can also alchemist heal him. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Should we wish. I managed to keep him. Oh. Yep. I think we're in really good shape here, even if they were to all come charging. Like, the only thing that could get to us relatively quickly is the horseman who is in the back room, so... I think we have time to clean up this whole mess, assuming the golem comes and attacks us. And I mean, it's a commander, why wouldn't it? Yeah. Can't imagine it will. Alright, I have my golem. Be like, up and left of Mercia. Yeah, so it might end up being like a cavalry blocking place. Yes, because their spearmen's pretty far away there. I have all my archers. Yes, so. all of our archers will make it so that we can just completely clean up this whole section. A golem there. It'll get critted by that 4% archer. No! Oh, no! That'll put it into crit range, so. Uh, and maybe we'll see what her power does. Who could say? Yeah. Oh, oh, it reset. Oh, damn. We'll never know. <laughs> maybe she'll get it. It'll be fine. I mean, it'll take enough turns to get up there that she'll get it. Don't have to worry about my wagon, my wagon. Be lonely all where it is. And your wagon just kind of gets kind of useless in this map, honestly. Wasn't the worst thing to have in this map, but boy, it didn't end up doing very much for me. Yeah, came and punched Marcia. Ah, the archer attacked Marcia. Fair enough. Alright, so the cavalry from the top room did come charging. Something else. And nothing else did. Pretty good damage and for free. No, it's it's yeah. That's like have a candle. That's a crit. Mm-hmm. Hit this guy uh, with my archer there, so I probably have my cavalry here, archer lined up behind. Mm -hmm. I don't remember see her running. 
Yeah, I think so. If, we're, if the ship has sailed on the uh, heel for the cavalry, which I think it should. then she can like... She'll be a really oh, good roadblock. Yeah. Making sure that cavalry can't go down. Oh. Yep. Here. Yes, because that'll hit the golem as well. Or pup. We could move the pup like below the cavalry here. Yeah, like here, get here. Just get a free heal in. No yeah. real reason not to. Probably just like the archers. And the golem blows up the, their golem. I don't want another archer up here. But, yeah. Yeah, I think it's probably going to be archers and golem and then like knock it down to shit health. Yup. Actually, even kill it with an alchemist. I'll come to play some more Yeah, I'm yeah, damage, I like so. that. Here goes here. Uh, pup first. Yep. Yep. There we go. Well, now basically the entire party around here is. Uh, I'm here to help. Back up. Healing aura. God, her power is dumb. Power is real fucking high. Yeah, so he'll be in crit range once the. That golem punches, so we might as well do as much uh, out of there damage as we can. Yeah. So. Lower his as much as possible. Archer. Mm hmm. I'll do what I'm gonna do up this way. Yeah. Okay, this. Cavalry up front. Roadblock. Yep. They also might just, you know, fuck their movement up. Because <laughs> the swordsman does have to get out of the way for the archer to shoot the uh, horse. I assume this one will come down like a cat, so mm -hmm. it, it's got three Well, my pony will not will live, and we're seeing can take the place next. Yeah. On that note, this archer can go there next turn. I'm not advancing any further. Yes, yeah, so this so is kind of going to be where we sit for a bit. I can probably just have this archer attack then. Uh, or make it even safer for my golem. Mm -hmm. I think that way. Like, reducing the damage my golem takes is... But yeah, my, Al my Alchemist is gonna come in and take a beat. That's okay. Again, yeah, Marcia gets her healed. Yeah. Away. And I just take 9 to 18% damage! Oh. Wow, and now that guy is nothing. And I'll probably just take care of this archer at the same time. Again, I'm getting stuck here, yep. so, like... It's you also have a five health horse there that will be able to do any sort of cleanup duty. I did indeed say duty. Duty. And Woo! the pile marches forward. Woo! <laughs> they rollin'. Yep, four health. Ooh, that's in my archer crit range. That's yeah. a mistake, buddy. So, oh, they're getting very confused. Maybe a touch. The horse just went the other direction. Yeah. I so know. there's that. Yeah. 
Hell, you can even have your pony just fucking blast him. Yeah, I can have my pony stay there. It wouldn't be a problem. That like the only thing in range is like a full health. Exactly. No, not even a full health, but four health. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's down to who does more. Well, looks like the archer takes the hit better since it basically destroys that other archer. Yeah. So that seems good. Alright, yeah, I probably have this golem. Uh, Just be on the other side and be like, yo, bro. Yeah, I'm like, go punch things. Why Let's not? figure out what to do with that seven health uh, spear guide. Is your full health alchemist? Uh, Oh, pretty much, yeah. I, that probably is what we do, just to, yeah, move the four health out of the way, and, uh... If not, like, well, I want to find how Pony will come in and kill it. Yeah, I wonder if you could even heal both the four health Pony, the, the Pony, the Alchemist, and the Golem with the four health Alchemist. Not if I want to actually use this to kill this guy, but... If he's at like z like five percent health, it'd kill him single on something. Yeah. It's not the so I think that's fine. So I could just have this pony go up here, have the four health go everything. Yeah, or even like have him below the golem and the four health guy goes up two squares. Oh ah, yeah, that, that's I like that. That kinda moves everyone as much as they can. This is a pretty good heal, like golem, pony, and an alchemist are all fairly high value. Yep. Especially since I'm going to be setting yes. this guy off on his own little adventure. Yep. Eventually send the pup with him as well, like just big space unit. I'm not worried about the pony being there. True. And there's not really much over there. I mean, I don't know if the pup's like all that useful anywhere, but yeah, I potentially go with. I mean, there's nowhere else. <laughs> So I have the archery list and the cavalry finish it off. We're yeah. just gonna go up the way. Yep, replace the, uh, or go on the pony square, and then suddenly you have two of your strongest units up front. And Mercia can start taking hits and doing hits. Yep. And they, they may all come back around now. I imagine they might, um, particularly with your golem kind of just chilling, but... Frankly, the AI pathing never ceases to amaze me. It's a bit weird. <laughs> I get it. It's quite hard. Oh, yeah. This map in particular seems pretty designed to fuck up your map and your AI. Yes. Like, it does not know where to go with all these walls. Everyone in the way. It's like trying to get to Marcia, but it doesn't know how. It just gets very... Up and going at it again. Mm-hmm. Best of friends. I was gonna say they're moving over left, but I, they're not moving it. <laughs> they're kind of just consolidating. Okay, yep. I go yep, up they are here. pulling back. I go, I'm just gonna want to come up as yep. far as possible. Yep. Well, we are gonna plug up that. That also, that hole right in the middle there basically means we can just chill. There's no archers, so like yes. One here. Without archers, there's nothing dangerous about running us way forward. Like even if we get spear critted, it's still not going to do that much to us. And the pony can't crit. It basically would have to stand where Mercia is to crit. If right? you go in here, I'd get crit yeah. by the pony. Not full health, so I don't give that. And only like two things in the yep. attacker. Yeah. And as long as your pony's out of spearman range, he's totally fine. I kind of like everything we got going on I'm here. I'm probably put Pony here so I can... It can come up and move attack so the guys are gone. Yep. And uh, no, I'm gonna attack it. You can either move it there or like one up from there, because that's also out of Spearman range. And blocks away so my archers can funnel on up. Yep. Yeah, this room, we're just... This is our room now. Yeah, this is my room. Please leave. Archers up. All right, where's the golem going? Golem goes to that spot. He just opened up. Archers okay. funnel into the tunnel. Yep. Archers pro on this map. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I might still run the pup on the right side, like, see if... See what they would do in response. Uh, I'm not that bothered. And also, like, Fair. their spearmen can me and their pups can 
Uh, I mean, he's not really doing anything other than that. Oh, I don't know. I might as well run that. Well, he might be more useful in this final. Potentially. But that might also be easier to get to from the right at this point. I don't know. Yeah, a lot of it will depend on if they keep retreating. Uh, Again, I'm not going to care about this or not. guy. That dude is irrelevant. I have my two alchemists come up because I might yeah. want to get some alchemy heals. Oh, yeah. Well, alchemy heals are quite strong. One. We've got a lot of just little chip damage here. I promise this is the last time I'm going to leave you. What? He has several distinct steps when the brewing. Oh, we're in tea then. Never. <laughs> Eat caffeine. Yep, so I got spear critted and pony attacked at 4 health, but... That's just building it up. Yep. At 50%. Move our other spearmen out of the way so I can kind of run riot with my own pony. Oh, crazy. I'm gonna be a little careful with Mercia so I don't get her killed here. But on the whole, I think I'm in pretty fucking good shape. Alright. Potentially even get an alchemy heal in, although it might just be uh, Archer City. Archer Capital of the World. Definitely want her killing something. Yeah, for sure. As soon as she gets her heal back up, you know, we're just straight back where we were before. I like that quite a bit. Um, you potentially kill something like the five health guy with an archer, run Mercia up to like block the doorway, and then have the golem punch the horse. I'll only give her a heal if I do that. Yeah. Hydro alarm. Yeah. Although I don't think anything can actually uh, kill her on their face. Um, yeah, because they can't even spear crit. No. Oh, like wow, said, nothing there can you crit on her. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to heal her at all. Yeah. Um, like, you yeah. potentially can, but... If I kill this guy, probably... Yeah. Yeah, this golem's gonna fuck up that horse. Yep. Um, <laughs> Destroy that horse. Yeah, I'll probably have my horse, like, attack this guy, yep. and then we're seeing if I can, like, kill him. Yeah. Or attack the pup, which he was, like, doing. I like all of what's happening here. Oh, um, yeah, then my archer do this. Mm hmm. Archer cats delete. Oh, yeah, I can kill this guy. Nice, uh, that's perfect then. With pony and uh, mercy. Not totally guaranteed, but probably. We'll see how lucky I get. Let's do it. Okay. There we go. Yep. Uber dead. Yep, then she's going to for next turn. And literally only one thing can attack her after this pony. Well, the pony will also attack her and then die, but he'll do like Okay, I'm gonna have my archer run up. Ooh, nice, yeah. I like that quite a lot. And then the golem's here, so now we have an even better wall behind Marcia. <laughs> yeah, I think that's good, because we want that six health alchemist and a seven health pony running up to see if they can get in the heal. Yeah. Probably the alchemist, then yeah. the coin, then the other alchemist, and then my uh, everything else is like sitting behind the It's the spear brigade. The spear the backup crew. They're just holding on the rear. It's fine. Yeah, when we have a giant ambush behind us, the spearmen will go to work. Half this chapter is just shuffling the deck chairs with the irrelevant ones. <laughs> Maybe they'll be relevant when I get in here, I don't know. Adorable. Woo! Yeah, I think honestly setting the pup on the right side was good because they're just full on retreat here. <laughs> That's a crit on that pup, but yeah, I can't get it because we're seeing the way. Yeah. Alright. 
she wants to heal that guy. Like, I guess he is at seven, but... I don't know. Yeah. All right, pop in behind. Like, snipe something. Yep. Nine health archer can potentially shoot that pup and get in range of a heal at the same time. Probably just go ahead. Yeah, I'll probably just use two archers. Yeah. And it's kind of down to how we can maneuver our various other injured units. The golem can also just run forward once the pup's dead, so his oh, spot yeah. opens up. Probably punch that spearman because he's like the only semi-dangerous thing around. Yeah, I might have to take this. Oh, I think you do. I think that's the only place. But like I said, the golem opening up a spot helps a lot. Punch mm-hmm. See if uh, all this comes charging down now or not. It might, now that we've crossed the threshold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if she does it exactly where she is, the spot the archer is on will... Potentially, yeah. You may also just, like, only want to heal the pony. Like, a six health alchemist isn't the worst thing in the world. Uh, I, I do think we're gonna get, like, stopped here, so her being here isn't the worst. I probably do. Get everyone up. Yeah. That is very fair. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm good with that. I like that. I'll take a free hit, Fine, sure. I'll take a free kill, yeah. I'm loving this single puppy pincer attack. Yep. As an aside. <laughs> I mean, he's actually in really good position here. Right. That's a good heal for me. I'll save you all. Healing aura! Will indeed save us all. Yeah, I've only lost one pup. Uh, that pup was a hero. Yeah. Save us from the apocalypse. Good pup. He did save Marcia from being murdered, so... And he didn't die, he just ran away. Yeah. I believe it. Ah, like, not completely. That's good. That might just be the other uh, threshold here. Those are cute little potted plants, I know. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wonder when the plot when the shrub was invented. Yeah, we're definitely like coming in, coming yep. in hot. We, we are coming in real hot. Her deal with, but, uh, yep. A lot of shit we can do. Mm -hmm. Your horse can blast that up. Yeah. Kind of like building her power up. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Pull it up again. And this is safe from the archers. Yes. Yeah, it's only the two spots uh, right below the wall that are. Well, worry about the pony going for the pot that he does in there. But I guess the that's golem what can the golem potentially, for. yeah, just punch that and be like, "Well, what are you gonna do about it?" I think that's probably what he does, so I can. That likely pulls one of the archers down, but that's probably fine. Archer to golem's perfectly fine. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you know what, it's like 4 12%. Yeah, it's my uh, cavalry yep. set. Yeah, Dark Mark is using Requiem. Yep, sure is. What her, we might see what her power is. Someday. Maybe. Look at my arch. Mm. Yeah, we do have that horse, but we can kinda... Oh, I can 
Yeah. I don't think we want to fill in with myself. Yeah, I like that. Because yeah. we want those archers as far ahead as possible. They are going to be what helps crack this throne. I do not want to put like an alchemist in like uh, yes. <laughs> in archer. Sure. Yep. Everything else, yeah, I can only go to like the doorway. Yep. Yeah, we'll see what she does here if she goes like full speed ahead charge here. Honestly, I feel like alchemists don't take a huge amount of damage from swordsmen and do good crackback. Okay, so they take pretty good damage, but they probably also do decent damage back. Yeah. They're doing... And we do have the defensive floor. It's not the crit. Yes. But it is a bit of a It is at least a little extra. Oh, continue moving along. Yeah. Slide that column up. We'll just pretend the purple guy's joined us. Yeah. <laughs> He's in the conga line. He's fusing the column. That's My wagon! Woo! Outlived its usefulness. Yeah, it's five and six. Didn't oh. do anything else. Okay. That's kind of nice, actually. All right, this is where it's going to get weird. Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever goes in there is gonna get punched by um Likely a golem. We potentially just put our golem up there and be like, well you I'm fucking figure it out. Golem. Just, oh, I mean, yeah, the two archers. I'm not gonna do much. I might even get attacked by like a swordsman rather than a golem That would be kind so of funny. I guess it funny. depends whether I want Mercia to get punched on the chance she gets her groovy. Hmm. If she kills that six health swordsman, I think she gets it next turn. Possibly this does, turn. Yeah. So she I could kill that just guy, gets it in have reserve. the golem here. And yeah. Then and then I you also like just slide your archers in. Yeah, I can slide my archers and in. And anything way. that comes down gets exceptionally shot. Yeah. Useful right. pup! So yeah, golem here. Yeah. Marcia blows up that guy pretty handily. Extra groove. Yep. Yeah, and then whatever nope. the golem takes, it's fine. Hello. <laughs> he was killed here. Was. Fun times. Uh, hi, Dad. Hi, Dad, Dad. Marcia. Rude. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, an inch. Requiem is an instrument, so the sword uh, and shield are uh, <gasps> the instrument, which is very good. Mm -hmm. You are weak. Strong, have a golem behind you. In front of her, even. Uh huh. I love the suffocating weight of grief, then. Mm hmm. Oh, shut up. I accept the crushing weight as I killed all my friends and family. Father. Yeah. What? Oh, I mean, I wasn't even there at the time. <laughs> I mean. I don't want Sigrid's fault. Guns don't kill people, Sigrid kills ah, people. Sure does. Dad. Wrong! My dad was awesome! How dare you insult him! My dad was cool! Alright! Wow, you mad? Ah, our mission objective was finally, like, a defeat. Before it was like, come to Requiem's Call! You know, I'm not gonna say you've guaranteed the S here, but... If I kill her in the next, I don't know, three 15 turns... Fifteen turns? I, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I, I'm pretty <laughs> if, sure... If you kill her in the next twelve turns, I think you've got it. So, uh, little good bit, luck. A little bit, a little bit. Okay, so yeah, I don't want to put anything that might die in our yes. Might be that you pull back the uh, 
Yeah, him, the five health one. Um, it's a kind of light, like, cavalry. Um, mm -hmm. Cause they can swoop and do some shit. There's only one of these guys. Yeah. Maybe, okay, here we go. If the pup kills the spearman and the cavalry moves into that spot, the rightmost archer can then go to where that cavalry's standing, and that makes a lot of room for you. Yep. Without change, without like making the cavalry further away. You can have an archer back here. Yeah, exactly. So you can move two archers into this spot here. Then you can even potentially move him one down. I can put like this guy back, and then uh, I don't want him too far away because he's gonna get that yeah, exactly. lovely, sweet, sweet heal. Um, but yeah, I can have like three archers like here, here, and here, and then yeah. two cavalrys here at the sides. I can even put him here. Have yeah, this guy I, I kind of like that. Um, unless we just want to put the full health alchemist there. Out of either way. Uh, full health alchemist can go here. I mean, I'd like this one closer because yeah, get healed, make it easier so. to get healed. And even potentially just put the archer right in that top spot there. That feels nice. I like this setup. We have this guy here. And, and my train continues. The train can actually move to its full potential. Although it can kind of like bunch up into a ball. And the wagon. <laughs> I'm gonna go at the end of every turn to the wagon. Yeah! Golem punch. Yes, a bit dangerous, but. Oh no! He's going for the wagon! <gasps> no! <laughs> Archer, the bottom archer crits the golem, right? Yeah. So that feels pretty good. Yeah, I probably have to spend at least two archers worth and mm -hmm. my golem mm -hmm. after a heal. I might have to my golem. Guess we'll see. This is an interesting um, question, right. yeah. Like how we best crack this nut. I definitely need to heal. Yes. Um, Just for the three health golem I here. I definitely love mine and my archers. Archer. Yes. If I could. Yes, I think this heal is just happening. Yo. I mean, if we have to pull Marcia or like the golem out and have Marcia take the hit from there so they get even closer, that's mm -hmm. totally fine. That's also fine, yeah. None shall Especially fall, if we stand. blow up that golem Healing a little bit aura. more. Yeah. Um, even if it's from a distance. I can also potentially do a heal on this golem, but yeah, all right. Yeah, I think that crit is too good to not do. Yeah, I think what I probably end up doing is have my archers come forward, one attack this one, yep. one attack this guy, mm -hmm. which frees up my cavalry quite a yep. bit. Um, and then yeah, my golem. Well, my golem probably stays free as he punches this golem. I think he'll be fine with an extra punch in there. We'll see what kind of percentage he does. Um, the other option would be to have two of your archers attack the golem, depending yeah. on how much crackback the eight health your golem takes. Yeah. <coughs> That's still decent. But I definitely attack one of the archers. They're oh, by yeah. far the biggest pain in the ass. They are such a pain in the ass. Yep. I can like, like get them yep. down by that much. That's yep. good. Hell, your alchemist will even be yeah, able to heal I the damage that this archer there, takes yeah. if you heal your golem to full. Yeah, I think I'll heal my golem to full and then punch their golem. Yep. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit attack this. Yeah, and then back alchemist potentially. Yeah, it has to do it from here. Yep. It should be fine. I think that's totally um, fine. The yeah. Health, I mean, the four health can't even attack it. Right it could now, attack right? it if it if the swordsman moved. Like the AI is just in its way now. Yeah, and there's the no AI chance. is like. Come along, Nitzel. Yeah, alright. An archer attack, I could probably kill this. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting question, because I kind of like both. I would keep my golem 
Fair that, hell. That might just be the thing that we... Yeah. yeah. The other thing I would attack would be this guy, and he's not yeah. that relevant until I'm attacking with my, uh... You can always just do it next turn, basically. Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking everything that's going on here. Honestly, if it lives with one health, that's just great. The AI will get really confused. Alright, so yeah, she can come in and punch my golem. If she does that, she gets art oh, critted by gets three archers. Absolutely fucking murdered, yeah. So I'm not sure I recommend it. Yeah, I'll just stay here. Uh, I'm not gonna have any of them run in. My crew! This just gives you another turn to like pot shot at archers too, if you need to, if they get in range. Yep. Basically, I like pretty much everything we got going on here. Alright, I like this. Anything that wants to attack the golem has three full health archer crits looking at it. <laughs> They're just like, oh fuck. Oh, that's adorable. Old? Adorable! Thank you for doing my work for me, I guess. Alright. We can't attack the Spearman with uh, an archer. We'd be able to get it with the Golem if we cleared the path, though. Yes. Uh, Which is a fascinating question. Alright, I'd probably use... Uh... She can definitely come in and do yeah. shit here, which I think. Right, I'm gonna save a checkpoint. Yep, but I think we got this. I think this is where we basically just take down anything that would be a threat. Alright, I think I do use an archer to clear yes, this. Yes, sure. Then I can use the golem. Getting the golem in to attack that uh, spearman is just it's money. We can even alchemist heal the golem most likely to do maximum damage. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I probably have her run in. Do that, him run up, punch that. Yep. Our other archer can even, like, shoot the pup to yeah. prevent difficulties. I think our horsemen are probably also able to attack them. Probably ah! Even, yep. Negate them, sorry. And then this pony can come in and kill that guy. Yeah, I... I'm liking I'm, everything that's going on here. I'm liking all of this mondo much right now. Alright. Yes, I do feel like I'm gonna have an alchemist come in. I don't even know if I need to. Uh... Will anyone else need a heal? I guess we'll find out. Let's do this. If any more damage we can get yes. on this guy, it's just crazy. Just hobble him completely. We've blown up one of the dogs, so the dogs can't crit. That other archer's at four health, so like, her army has just evaporated. <laughs> Yep, and I'll have archers in behind. Yeah, I think I'll have like alchemists like something here. And yeah, we definitely saw that like the AI has a lot of trouble dealing with golems with like anything other than archers. It just won't attack them at all. So yeah. like Mercia and Golem do basically just break this this whole chapter in half. Yep. Let's punch this. Oh weird, Dark Mark is literally the only one who can do any damage to anyone. Three archers is also like a yes. lot. Yes, oh, three archers you can do so much work with. Yeah, we're never gonna see her groove either. Nope. Like, it's very slow <laughs> charging. And she hasn't done any she damage, She can't attack so. anyone, yeah. My army of uh, uh... We just had a roving death ball. <laughs> Look at this, they're, they're coming. They're finally here, they're making coming. it to the back room. <laughs> Up. And backdoor pop. And wagon. I. All right now, uh, interesting times. Mm -hmm. That's a crit for you, Jim. That seems like the most useful use of our time, I gotta say. Probably the cavalry and then like the, the golem. golem. Um, I think I can get an archer. Yes, that archer can. I can get two archer attacks Ooh, on you're her, right. Yeah. yeah, so if we... As long as I clear this way. Yeah, I think that's six health alchemist can blow up the, uh, up there, yeah. Yeah, like that. Uh, yeah, 
the archer. Yeah, I probably have this guy. Yeah. Um, like Blow come up around and dude. attack this guy. Yeah. I like that. And this guy gets in. Then... If I get the two archer attacks in first, yes, I for like sure. That. And more damage, taking less crackback, always appreciated. Generally quite good, yes. Second second oh. And now, oh hi, Mark. Yeah, not only she's dead this turn, uh, cause she's very effectively Mm -hmm. She has turtled herself corner. quite well, which seems to just be what enemies do when they're when enemy commanders do when they're losing. How much does Mercia do out of curiosity? Okay, so a bit more than the golem. Very slightly. More. Very barely. The yes. crit is definitely um, happening. Yeah. As with most puzzles, if you can see a horse crit, it's probably correct. <laughs> Hello, hello. Just watching us finish up the whole game. I'm very, very lucky. Yeah, I there's like here. a chance, but... I probably do do it with Marcia. You're uh, gonna miss the S triple plus rank. Yeah. <laughs> and that seems appropriate to do with Marcia. So mm -hmm. yeah, if I do this, I'm not in any danger. Yeah. Oh, she's not even close. Uh, get out of my head. Stupid violin. Stupid fucking cello. Yeah, not quite the kill, but not got a crew, but she's done She can walk. decide what, uh, how she wants to die. Yeah. And here they come. Here they come. The lads. Lads, lads, lads. Lads, squad. Well, I got through this only losing one pot, which I think is definitely the way to go. Like being protected by units is definitely where you want to be mm -hmm. in this map. And the golem, like, golem and Marcia, which is great. Oh, she killed herself on the pony. Mm. We'll regret this. Will I now? I love pain of lost. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> Get lost. Hmm. Find a friend. Do it all with friendship. Aw, friends. Stab it, stab <laughs> it, stab it. <laughs> yeah, I'm I mean... shocked that we got an S on that. <laughs> Just, just in awe that yeah, the timer wasn't 12, 12 turns under <laughs> under the um, A rank limit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's all in her head. It was all a dream. Yeah, steadfast spirit. We've just been Hi. standing here in awe. Yeah, we've only gone for like three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Ragna's definitely broken. <laughs> Ragna has absolutely no idea. But yeah, good. I enjoyed that final map. That How was did good. You? Yeah. It's like in games like this, taking away your ability to build units is really <laughs> risky, but like. Mercia as a commander makes it so much more possible with yep. her hyper repair. I got a little bit dicey uh, in like the first third mm -hmm. when I had Mercia and three archers and Mercia was taking a beating. Yep. Um, but that was where I sacrificed my pup my to live. My soul! So... Dad. Uh, what do you want for you? Be queen? I don't, I don't know. Sure, beating up an, a musical, an evil musical instrument is kind of the queen, right? I've learned a lot. <laughs> you have the pup the job. Arf. Arf. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of puzzles right there. Okay. <laughs> Even you, uh, Valder and Ragna. Hi, your new friends. Mm-hmm. Not 
fight anymore, guys. It's over. <laughs> he's still chasing us. No. Oh, he's so battered. <laughs> that poor dude has been through a lot. I don't have crap he made now. it, though. Yeah. If he just stayed at home, that would actually have gotten to us just as fast. Yeah. Oh, we even cleaned him up. Yeah. Hmm. That's so wiggly. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Party! 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 <laughs> we get a party map where we just wander around. Yeah. Oh, festivities. Hell yeah. <gasps> Look, we got a pyramid. Mm -hmm. Oh! Uh, yes. you're an idiot. How Thank dare you, you take a wreck on your own? <laughs> 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 hey! I see Sedge is enjoying the party. No. Sedge is still evil. <laughs> Thank you. I sure am one awesome lady. <laughs> you have my thanks. Oh yeah, Empress Lady thinks we're cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please. Keep going. Hey! Wars for fun is definitely what they do. <laughs> I've seen the arcade. Mm -hmm. The concept piece is that she's absolutely out there causing problems on purpose. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm so looking forward to the, the Goose game. Co mm, uh, op. Co op. We totally have to Causing play. problems on purpose? <laughs> I need to stream that. That would probably be fun. a pretty fun bonus stream. That would absolutely be a fun stream. We're just <sighs> coming out right in the tail end of us doing our actual bonus stream. Mm -hmm. hmm. If if that had been announced if like a couple of weeks earlier, that might have been our uh, three year anniversary bonus stream. But I do like what we've ended up at. True. It's very. It's gonna yeah, be very it's dumb. It's gonna be excellent. Thank you. Thanks. He killed a lot of my people, but it was all a misunderstanding, so... Huh. Hey, hey Ragna, are we, are we still gonna be rivals? Is having a rival be a queen be awesome? Yeah! Yeah! Woo! I'll um, allow it. Right yeah. me. <coughs> now we can fight, see? We can fight for <laughs> fun! <laughs> Your Highness. Oh, Ragna. I mean, I don't yes. know. Yes. Caesar's had tougher maps. See, we still haven't done Caesar's other two maps because they look no. terrible. One was terrifying and I, you know, uh, was, was killing me. And the other one, I'm, I just went no to doing on stream, honestly. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I don't know how to unlock the secret commander. I don't huh. unlock the secret. Remember those prayer statues in all of Caesar's right. side chapters? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. You have to bring Caesar to them uh, in order and then win the map. Uh, oh. Ouch. Yup. Ouch. <laughs> Not just have to beat some of the harder <laughs> chapters in the game, also, uh,. Do a side objective in the middle of them. Ouch. At least Let's that go. doesn't have to be an S, though. No, yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yes. ho. Oh, my goodness. Hello. <laughs> my dude got in. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah, a bunch of stars on top of that. All right. Everybody dancing. Yeah. Finn Bryce and Finn Bryce. <laughs> How many times are you going to see Finn Bryce in Probably a decent amount. 
It'd be funny if additional game design was also Finn Bryce. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> Ooh, Steven and Xander in twice. Oh, that's a dad dance right there. <laughs> and there you go, there he dad dance. All right, well, that was the Wargroove campaign. Yeah, the single-player one, anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, the co-op one got released, what, two weeks ago? On the PS4, finally, yes, we the got PS4. the update. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, it just dropped out of nowhere right in the end of these streams, which is hilarious. Um, we'll do that at some point. We're probably not right away. Yeah, we'll take a little break from it for now, but... Uh... There's Finn Bryce and Jay Palis again. Mm-hmm. Almost like this was made by a small team of people. Weird. Oh, look how happy he is! Oh, he's such a good dog! <laughs> oh, this boy! Extremely good lad. <laughs> Alright, Valder. Old man dance right there. Having that foot. I enjoyed the campaign on that a lot. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed Warrior. Yeah, it was pretty good at being, like, weird, varied objectives for everything without feeling super gimmicky. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like that. And I got a little strange. Yes. Although usually we could make that, take that to our advantage I, rather than I, it being I, there bad. There were a few times where I was expecting it to work on Advanced War slash Fire Emblem rules. Where enemies have death wishes. Where enemies will poof into your, uh, yeah. Chan channels of death and just kill themselves on you. And they do not. They're a little bit smarter. Mm hmm. Um. Although, honestly, nothing will beat that penultimate map when we threw Ragna in, expecting her <laughs> expecting her to get take over Requiem, and then Requiem stopped taking over people, so Ragna was just surrounded by a billion enemies and should have died. And then somehow I won the map. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck it. All right, everyone's going into danger. I lived. I lived, bitch. It was, and... it, I don't, that probably was my favorite moment. Uh, mm -hmm. And that was the enemy AI being dumb as shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the enemy AI not really uh, knowing what to do. Extremely powerful, yes. Mm -hmm. It was a magnificent moment. I feel like that's a Fortnite dance. Ugh, gross. <laughs> All the kids are doing these days. Ugh, I'm old. I tell you, I'm 30 and it's 2020. My 30th year has been the longest fucking year in existence. I feel about pregnant now. Mm -hmm. There we go. Woo. Where do you rank the commanders? Obviously Caesar's at the top. <laughs> yeah, like what in what way are we talking? Just uh, I, I guess like powers, like the ability where we feel like ranking them. Mm-hmm. I mean Caesar's the dancers. Dancers are always top tier. Indeed. <laughs> that just bumps Sedge up in my estimation. Hi, Sedge. That's pretty good, Sedge. I, I approve. I, being 30 year old granddad, approve of that one. There you go. Um, so yeah, let's think. Marcia is definitely like. Marcia seems ridiculously nice, um, just for ri crazy longevity. Definitely better against computers where yes. it's safer to ball your units up in a way that she'll just get a billion value. Yeah. Um, but still, like, a pretty strong power for how much, for how fast it comes up and how much heals it does. Um, I feel like we never got the usefulness out of Koji's that I feel like you can. Koji's is probably really good, it's just, like, kind of slow. Like, the big thing about it is anyone who has a slow power, you're not really gonna get to see it in the campaign if you're going for, like, A and S ranks. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you want to just be moving at maximum speed. Which means that a lot of times, people with slow powers won't even build it up by the time the chapter's over. And like, Ryota's and Sedge's are good for bullshit, but only in very specific situations. 
feeling. Yes. It's kind of hard they ki- you kinda to need engineer to set it up. the kind of situation that they got in the puzzles. Mm-hmm. I would say that with Ryota's power up, he's probably really strong. Yeah, we haven't seen Ryota's upgraded power. Because um, then it feels like you could take advantage of it very easily. Yeah. Sedges is also, like, if you even if you just get him to move again once after killing something, like, that's pretty fucking strong. That's pretty strong. Valder's was definitely very, very useful in that penultimate chapter as well. Like, I get the feeling Valder is one of those ones who's just really, really strong. Um, particularly on, like... Goopy. Yeah. Any kind of map where his power helps him get an economy lead. It's funny to me that, uh, we had that Mo and Ryo at the end, but Koji's the one that came with us. There was basically nothing... Ryota had a side mission, basically, because yeah. he was one of the commanders who got left. Yeah. The same way that Greenfinger was. So there was, like, nothing between, like, Ryo and Mercia until at the end there. Mm-hmm. I guess Mercia just thinks he's hot. I don't know. Fair enough. Hi, Elodie. As we mentioned, we've seen a lot of Elodie in the, uh, arcade. Yep, she is always the final boss. Because they're okay, you're basically going after Requiem. Hey, Dark Marcia. Dark Mark. Never got to see her groove. Dark Mark. Might have to look up in the codex unless we do her arcade. I always feel like um, Nuru's one is never as good as it sounds. Ah, uh, we- it uh, drains. Uh, it's basically like an inverse of Mercia's, uh, where it does damage to 30% damage to everyone around her at the same size as Mercia's. Uh, that also fills her up the way that Sigrid's okay, does. That's pretty good. So that it's a good thing we didn't have that go off on oh, us. Oh god, we never had that go off on us. Yeah. That would have actually been quite bad. I would have. I think I went fast enough, slash, she never actually went for any attacks. Yes. I believe we just unlocked her as well. Yeah. So yeah, let's think about Nuru as being double cost and also only being units she can summon. Oh my. Like, yeah. Um, we often ended up in a situation where um, Nuru's power was just like either it didn't have the unit we wanted, or like it was like too costly. It's or... definitely one of those ones that would be better on a much more economy focused map where. Mm-hmm where you could actually build units that you wanted. That was yeah. probably her biggest problem in the campaign. Very yes. few maps with her actually give her the stuff that, like, she needs to be good. And then, uh, Ragna, I liked she jump, but I could also see that it's also extremely situational. Yeah. That said, the situation being either go way in or go way out are both quite strong to have. I kind of like the way that a lot of the area of effect powers in this game are quite big because that gives you a lot more leverage with where you put someone. Thanks, Sean Chiplock. And yes, we did indeed do it. We did it. We did the deed. I ranked it even. Mm-hmm. By quite a lot. Yeah. Look at all of these people's voices we haven't met. Mm-hmm. Maybe someday mm-hmm. we'll meet those characters. We'll have to figure out when, because it'll it'll be with like me actually available <laughs> rather yeah, than in chat. It'll probably have to be like a main game or yeah. on Thursday. Yeah, because I probably sure won't how... be around for uh, these for too much longer. I might have to um, see how long co-op campaign is. Also fair, yes. Figure out how many missions it is. Like, we can see if it's just, like, I, d- I mean, I doubt it's as long as the actual campaign. Nah, but no way. We, we now haven't played the campaign, have a decent idea of how long it takes to do these maps and yep. stuff, so... And we can see if it, like, if, if it's a once a week kind of... I feel like it should be, given yeah. that it was free content. Mm-hmm. It might take us a little bit to get through it, but hey, we've had decently long, like, grab baggy type games before. Yeah. It's very true. Got no characters left. We ran out of characters. Mm-hmm. I 
I assume because it was kind of for the original version. Well, it probably ran out of characters in the original too, but it's also now got the credits for uh, yes. everyone else. You know, Ragnar's shield jump is definitely, like, It's good. a lot of free damage, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. over a very large area. And, and it gets her, her way well. out of danger. Mm -hmm. Or way into danger, as we saw. If she wants to. And I definitely feel like, again, there were powers that we didn't get to see shine in the campaign, yes. like Koji's. Yeah, like uh, Koji's, like Nuri's. Koji's feels like an absolute motherfucker because anything that you can't blow up on, like you can't kill on your terms, is just dangerous as hell. Yeah. I haven't forgotten anyone. Ah, oh, Tenri. Oh yeah, she's the uh, wind one. Yeah. Well, it's definitely for shenanigans. That one can do some weird stuff. I'd be kind of curious. Yeah. Is it? I, I guess also what speed it is would be. Yeah, important. we've only seen it like quite once. Yeah, probably. Like, and in a couple of puzzles and like one map. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. So it's hard to judge just what her power is actually useful for. I feel like it's probably not that great. Um. If it charged fast, I think it would be very good. It'd probably be busted if it charged uh, fast. Well, if it charged very fast, it'd definitely be busted. Yeah, medium, I could believe that, and make that makes it a little bit iffier. Because, like, it's a very useful thing to just say, like, hey, this unit, not relevant anymore. Or, hey, I'm just going to put this unit over here, and now you have to deal with it. When it was fast, it was one of the best commanders in the game. Yeah, that I makes sense. Thought it that. was really fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Long range auto kill. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it is absolutely one of those ones that almost depends entirely on, on the speed, speed of charge. Yeah. It's kind of like, well, like, cigarettes, I imagine, not being very good in PvP because it takes so long to charge. Even yeah. though it can just eliminate... Delete the best thing and everything. put her back to full yeah. health. And that's amazing. But that's so slow. Yep. Kind of similar with Sedges, too. Yeah. Because I believe he's also on very slow. I feel like, yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, I can see it like Nija Seekers is right. Yeah, because she's only got the four movement and it's yeah. right next to her. Yeah. So anything that can stay out of her rage and then come in and That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Especially because it takes so long to charge up and your your opponent kinda just beats up on you until you get it and then they just play around you. Yep. Yeah, I was kinda talking about how because most grooves are gigantic, it lets you have a lot more Positioning uh, yeah. usefulness with them. Of course, I do love Caesar. Mm -hmm. I love being a dancer. Like he's top tier in my heart, even though I know he's probably not top tier. He's pretty high tier, I think. I love him. He's a dancer. Best. We're at Portuguese team now. I like. I feel like it might be like the start button or something. Oh, there we go. That speeds it up. I know we have, like, discovered the fast forward button in the, uh, campaign one, or, like, in the quick play ones. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it works here. It's quite fast. Mm -hmm. There's some special thanks. Hello. Alright, if you have the special thanks, you're getting close. We're at the end, we're at the end, we all know that. The office dogs. Woo, I do love office And the dogs. office snake. Aww, oh, office snake. <laughs> uh, open source library. Oops. Uh-oh. Dead dad ghost. Mm -hmm. Stickers, you're dead. Get out of here. Well, dad's dead too. He's a ghost. Stickers just. Stickers not a ghost. She's dead. She's vampires don't leave ghosts. Everyone knows that. Very long credit. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, 
dead, Dad. Dad. He did, he's ghosts. Mm -hmm. Always take your pup everywhere you go. As you do. Yeah, Dad's gonna come down and be like, Yo, that was dope. Mm -hmm. Good shit. <laughs> Dad's a bird now. There right. we go, Dark Mark. Dark Marcia. And there we go, slow. We definitely saw that. So, yes, yeah. that was quite slow. Drain's all starting in the minutes with 30% healing her. So. Yeah, it seems like, like by as much as she drains as well. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah, basically the same that Sigrid does. Kind of neat to have an inverse to Mercia's. Probably open like one of these. I know. Maybe two. Yeah, nope. For one short. Alas. And a lack. Yeah, I was pretty sure uh, Dark Mercia was not great. Yeah, it's too slow. <laughs> Quite slow, and it's not like the ability is incredible, you know? Yeah. It would have been nasty on that map. Yes. Because of our pre In the campaign, specifically, but it would have done some work on us. We could have very specifically countered that with Mercia's yep. power. <laughs> Yes, if you're a slow groove, you really need to be super strong. Oh, I see you as a space for a secret CEO in the top left there. It'd and then anybody. some people were never gonna meet. Uh, it's to worry about it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we've done a few. Uh, yeah, yeah, anyone with faces we've done and like stars next to their yeah, thing. Yeah, anyone with stars. There's those three and Ragna as well, yeah. Yep. Alright, so who do they wanna do? Uh, Everyone's just gonna start an arcade, show it off. Um, who, who do we feel like? I feel like Valder or Nuru in a situation where their grooves are a bit better. Um, I guess the other question is if we do normal or hard. Probably just normal if we're just showing it off rather than like getting past and kicked by hard. Um, Very true. Yeah, we didn't do her side mission. That's yeah, why we yeah, have yeah, them yeah, on yeah, yeah, yeah. I started it, got way too stressed by doing it on stream. Um, I didn't, didn't finish it. There's like three side missions I haven't done on stream, and I'm not going to because I don't want to. Mm -hmm. Um, Alder? Yeah, that sounds good. Belheim rises. Oh, rises. All right. It needs to beat a pup. So you're always up against the same five. The mm -hmm. arcade. We're not like. With that character. Yeah, Valder, that character has a set lineup. Valder will always be up against Caesar first, and that's Elodie right. at the end. It's, all, it's always Elodie at the yep. end. But everyone has, like, hmm. five commanders they go up against. Hmm. Is that just a... Good question. Where'd this dog come from? Put this dog here. So typically on normal, typically these maps are very <laughs> symmetrical, either um, mirror or this is rotational. Um, it, on normal, the enemy starts with the same number of buildings. But tends to have they one, sure would, Valder. Tends to have one more like unit than you, one more like <sighs> swordsman usually. Yep. On hard, I expect they have quite a bit of a bigger uh, leap on you. It is a magnificent looking beast. <laughs> it's true. Commander Pup must be dealt with. So yeah, take a look at that little tent. Ethan Rifle. Oh, ah, okay. okay. So we're getting some of the new stuff. Yeah. Ethan Rifle. Hideout. That's the, uh, yeah, the DLC. And we'll be able to grab that next turn if we make a swordsman there. Yeah, 
can we get guns? All right. We have 300. Um... This is a relatively tiny map. Um, the wagon strats might not be as good. Hard to say, though. There's definitely quite a lot of properties right in range of us. I just want a swordsman so I can grab Yeah, packs. that's kind of what I'm thinking. We just cut a path on the top of the swordsman and then... Generally, I try to win arcade maps by super extending myself. Choking the enemy to death. And grabbing a bunch of properties that I should not be having. Yep. Plus, if Valder gets mixes it up with some of them, he gets his power and starts I mean, out-producing units. I might even have Valder grab yeah. this Oh, I would absolutely grab, grab, that, grab that, one. that one. Yep. In a, in a line. Yeah. That is the move. Myself. Like, he'll probably... I have a swordsman that could grab that, then grab that, yep. then even, like, Start right, moving towards that. Maybe we'll see what Caesar, Caesar does. Him. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, here are the, uh, the gold changes, which we haven't seen, because I don't think we did a map that we could buy any units. Yep. Um, <laughs> we could do a new room, and that was it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the Dread Spirits are now 250, and the Pups are now 150. Which seems about right, given how Pups are very disposable units. Expensive? Yes, I, I think, think they used to be 900. Revenant. Revenant. Alright, let's build us a Dread Sword. As I'd rather have the extra. Yes, for sure. We'll just fill the map with skeletons. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be great. The Valder charges like 20% a turn naturally, I believe. Built a pup. Ah, sending okay. everything down that way. Uh, Alright. Let's grab this and see what this is all about. Mm -hmm. Can't actually do anything with it until next no. turn. We'll be able to look next turn at those things. I'm gonna actually grab that that one there. Yeah, it's either that or like tries to defend the area, but that might be a little tougher. It's Caesar right there. It's probably a little. Yeah. The arcade one is definitely like the least one, which is why I'm only doing one like, half a stream of it. Yes. Really. We're not too worried about. Even if I lose, whatever, you know. All right. Do we want to? This fly? is an interesting question. Um. A mage might be good because it could grab that uh, village below. A swordsman would also be able to do that. 400 a turn. Yeah, if we I... wanted to save up for something bigger. Yeah, I'd be if I wanted to save up for a, a Probably a horse, and a horse does seem pretty good on a map this small and open. A map, uh, a pony could definitely. Yeah. Not too many choke points either. Yeah, there's a map on Arcane that is infamous in hardwood for just being a just don't bother map. <laughs> Amazing. Um, that people just go, just, just don't, just yep. don't bother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have to do all three difficulties. Uh, we've only done normal mode and we got all the stars for easy. So if we did hard, we'd get all the stars for normal. I just like prefer. Like, this yep. isn't a game I'm gonna like 100%. Yep. Maybe it's a swordsman. Yeah. We also would be able to save money for, uh, whatchamacallit, like, whatever comes out of that yeah, other see what's barracks. Yeah, out of here as well, yeah. We have no idea what these units are, so still learning this. Yeah. And a swordsman to grab this. Yes, exactly. They built a mage. Caesar is also fucked off a little bit. So there's that. The Prowlers, of all the units, the Camelot Jack is able to steal 300 gold from any enemy building and 1,000 when run okay. by a stronghold. Okay, interesting. So you can really choke them out. Long range ground unit, range 9. Oh. I don't target enemies in forest, particularly when it's one shot. Ah, so does it have a... Um... Yeah, does it have an ammo system then? Yeah. So if it's range 9, it can only attack at 9, right? Can't hit enemies in forest trigger. Here one, 750. We could buy it just to check it out. <laughs> it sounds very stupid. It sounds extremely dark. Hmm. 
Anyway, so Valder's gonna grab this one. That swordsman probably attacks that village. Um, or their swordsman probably attacks our six health village. That should be alright. Valder will be behind. Yeah. Uh, they can't kill it in yeah. one turn. Valder will be behind when they take like two turns. Yeah, and they'll only neutralize it there. And we have a swordsman coming in this direction as well. Yeah, I managed to, like, our income is uh, pretty good. So We're even going to get two more villages here. Yeah, like two turns away from capturing anything else. So. Yep. Income disparity is basically how I win normal oh. arcade mode. <laughs> That's how you win, like... Hard mode is definitely strategy games. Worse because they have more income yes. than you. It's uh, much harder to get to income parity. Yep, grab that. Yeah, on normal mode you basically start at like parity ish, so um, it's incredibly easy to uh, just grab that village. And uh rifleman, fuck it. Yeah, why not? Take pot shots at Caesar from three miles away. So yeah, like check his like range. The units are good against, they're good against, units are bad against, they're not good against pups. Ah. Not good Hard against to hit a pup at nine range. Not good against commanders either. Yeah, okay. Managing ammunition is key, really. Like, every opportunity is not always the best course of action. Sorry, one's final put it for price of carbon crit. Mm. Cannot move and shoot in the same turn. Uh, ah. It does look like it's one to nine. Wait, interesting. Looks like this is a straight line, huh? Yeah. Like out nine in a giant straight line. It, though it's kind of hilarious the ninth thing is definitely weird right? yes <laughs> range nine i'm assuming from that it is one to nine but yes well we'll see all right uh yeah i've not got enough money to buy anything there nope we are getting good money now, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's like, I don't want to be attacked. You're not put in range of pop, which is quite effectively there. Mm -hmm. I probably end up letting uh, this. Uh, Capturing this, and my swordsman gets like murdered by a pup, but that's okay. Oh, hey, if then he does that, you blast pup. Uh, I don't do much damage to pups. Ah, true. There's someone that indicates how many bullets he has currently. Ah, ah three. three. Okay. Well, I can always put a swordsman in front of him. Mm hmm. I put him there, put a swordsman in front. Yeah. I kind of like owning this road. I can even, like, build, like, uh, cavalry or something. I like a horse there, yes. I think now it's horse. We we've seen the rifleman, now it's horse time. If Alder comes on up. Yup. Probably just retakes this town. <laughs> and then goes, like, what are you gonna do about it? Yeah, so I think I'm going to put the rifleman there with the swordsman in front of him. Mm -hmm. So I think there is the range to I... attack that town. Yes, I believe so. Which would be funny. I really want to attack that town. I want to see how it goes. I, don't I want to do... shoot a town. We don't do much damage to towns, but here seems fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I probably wouldn't buy an archer for, uh, gun if I wanted to win this map, but this seems fine. Science. 
Science is more important. It's, it's true. Plus, we're gonna get a cavalry this turn, and that's we're just gonna flood the map, so. Yep. I mean, we do have 300 more income, so yep. we are just going to win that fight. Thieves seem interesting. Yes, you can definitely pull some bullshit with thieves, it looks like. Yeah, I went for Volder instead. Thanks, mate. Yeah, I probably went up that way. Boulder could summon a skeleton to just absolutely annihilate that. Yeah, it would get murdered, but it's a free skeleton. Might still be worth it. I think especially with the cavalry kind of just down there, if they decide they really want to attack Boulder. Oh, I can't fill the tree bucket. <laughs> uh, I potentially just build, like, I just keep building knights. I think it's just knights and then, yeah, maybe a tree bucket eventually. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's definitely like, uh, it's more like a tree bucket or a ballista this guy than yeah. a, uh, anything else. Runs ahead. I'm trying to just have him come back and like... Mm -hmm. Or just like draw the pup closer to getting murdered. Yep. Yeah, kind of like Valder coming out. How much yeah. does Swordsman do against him? 60. With a crit that's like... 90, I think. Right so he's pretty... Man. gonna be in trouble. Gets murdered by like the archer and maybe seeker, but... But hey, it was three free. skeletons. So... This is just a command, or an arcade mode map that we're doing to finish things up. Yep. I don't even have my like, yeah. uh, horse down here. Your horse is in danger, it is in a threatening position here. You can probably even move that down a bit if you don't wanna, if you wanna like... Mm, like maybe like here yeah. and see like if I can attack like they did good damage to uh archers, yeah. Yeah, so if they bring the archer in for that, that goes very badly for them. Basically do bad damage against our dogs, ponies, golems, uh anything. Else. We have not unlocked the secret commander and, and we're uh, probably not gonna do that we're on gonna, stream. We're gonna do that on stream. Yeah, the range is wacky, but there is, like, not in danger I like, of being attacked. Yeah, I, that um, also threatens, like, most of their units. Yeah, being down I like, there. I like, I like that. that. Now we're just showing off our arcades uh, a little bit in the final stream, because why not? Probably just like draws dog further down. Mm -hmm. He's done his job. Yep. Skeletons are disposable. Alright, so if I go here, raise the dead here. Yep. And then that's a crit. Yep. If Caesar wants to come attack, rise from your grave. Gets hit by a uh, horse. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Alright, pony. This pony's all the way down. There is. Because they in three turns can get to the stronghold as well. Like, yes. you can even go in like crit range of a stronghold. Which is. With how small this map is, it might just be blow up uh, Caesar as well. Yeah. Chase down with horses. Mm hmm. back and then if the dog goes for him and gets murdered by a pony. Yep. Probably goes for my other swordsman. Fine. Decent chance, yeah. Don't have enough money for that thief. <laughs> we'll see the thieves and the gunmen properly and uh Yes. I mean if you wanna yep. die And give me my power. Oh, I think we blast that archer. We could even flavor blast that archer. Yeah, there we go. That's good shit. 
Yeah, so this is the range. This is why it's like nine. It's yes. kind of weird, but it is nine like... spaces, but like really just a long column, yeah. which makes a lot more sense. Yeah, I was like nine. I don't know. Really yeah, here that seems good. That just is like that's a fuck off right there. Yep. Alder could even summon a skeleton and attack Caesar with it if he wanted. Oh, that's pretty funny. Um. I just really want to kill this guy if I just want to kill their town. Would get you attacked by the ballista, probably. Ah, uh, yes. Um. But that might even be fine. Pony goes on a rampage. Rampony. Yeah, so I guess the question in here is, do I go into this forest and attack Caesar? You could summon a skeleton to attack Caesar, like with a crit. Air damage and just attacking. I don't know if it's better, but it's a bit safer for Volder. Mm -hmm. Um, an interesting one. Cause then you'd have a high health Valder and like potentially even a pony bearing down. Yeah. Caesar would probably have to run away, even if he killed off the swordsman. I'd have to have Valder move here. Yeah. Oh, Our from are definitely a bit weird. Uh, yes. We'll see how we go. <laughs> We're just fucking trying it out, cause why yeah, not? Why not? I'm pretty sure I have this map pretty Yes, nice. we're, we're pretty much there already. Rise from your grave. Deleting more income definitely seems good. Um, their archer might even like waste the turn re-grabbing it. Yeah. That pup is definitely annoying, but... Yeah, I mean I could, that would keep- killing the pup- Honestly, I think killing the pup might just- in like Caesar yeah. range. And then uh, it's kind of safe for your three range. health guy to uh, grab some health from that village and then grab that unclaimed village at the top. Yeah. Mm. Which I think is pretty good. Might just be time to bury him in horses. And it's time to bury in horses, I think. Yeah, and this guy, like, grabs some health nice. from the uh, here. <laughs> Can't not heal him now. Yeah, goes and grabs that, and then our. Yeah. Normal mode, you really do, like, as soon as you get that income to spare it, you know, map is pretty yep. much one, as long as you don't do anything stupid. With it turns out you're smarter than a computer. Usually. Mostly. Usually. Not always. Right. Potentially even buy a golem next turn. Alright. For funsies. For funsies. <laughs> That's interesting. Hey, Ballista. Oh my. So Caesar can dance, but I'm not sure I trust Caesar to, like, do anything with it. <laughs> and he's lovingly positioned himself. Um, God, if I can, like, break through here. One, two. I can do good damage on yeah, this. Yeah, and that's probably where we want to go. Grab this. More money, please. Mm -hmm. You can also potentially pin Caesar in, um, though it's a little tougher. I, which I, I can definitely do a lot of work. Um, thing here. Like a bunch of them. Yeah. Worth noting, he can walk through that village if we don't retake it. Yes. Um, uh... Ah, Rifleman's at the bottom. Yeah, Rifleman would die, um, pretty horribly. Which should be fine, he was mostly a use case. Like, if Caesar comes <laughs> out here to kill him, mm -hmm. um, I have, like, 
three ponies. Yes, down that would go very badly over. for him if he did do that. Yes. Um, so this rifleman could just. Yeah, it's either shoot the archer or shoot Caesar for a bit more chip damage. Mm. And, like, the chip damage isn't bad. Yeah, it isn't, isn't bad. It, yeah, and this... Especially because the pony this can't This guy can really... only go this far. Yeah, uh, he could also neutralize that village, but I actually kind of like the pony down to try to kill off Caesar. Yeah, I like here. Absolutely. I agree. Um, I definitely want Valder, I think, like, getting this guy down because my two pokemon. Yep, and get his power. I do think that I'm going to do most of the damage to the ballista, so whatever. To the ballista. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I like all of this. Oh, so yeah. Get a shot and pop shot in on Caesar. If they really decide that they need to kill our rifleman, then Caesar dies next turn, guaranteed. And of course, Valder gets his power back like next turn or the turn after from that, if anyone decides to attack him. Yes, the next one's a crit. I have no idea what the crit multiplier is on these guys, but hey. Alright, then this pony's like down here. Yep. We chillin' because we hit three health. Yep. Rifleman crit with their last shot. They have yeah, three they shots have three before shots. they have to reload. Um, and if they take their final shot, it's a crit. Yep. Which makes for an interesting game about reloading or not. There's definitely maps where I could see them being quite good, even just in like space denial terms, you know? Yeah, mm hmm. Like, that seems like their biggest asset that you can yeah, just say, defense hey, yeah. you can't actually move here. Ah! Alright. Ah, there we go. He did get his power. Oh, we can shoot him with our last bullet for yeah. a crit. Yeah! Seven which, of four Why seven. not? And yeah, not so good. Okay, on a crit, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Oh no. But yeah, I think we're just gonna, like, go full out here. Get as much of Caesar down as we can. Valder can, can even, summon, yeah, yeah can guy summon on, on the there, mountain. On the crit, yeah. I would have said just attack with Valder, but if he's taking the place of the horseman, then I like a crit from the mountain. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's a crit from that pony. I like that. I think that's actually just flat out more damage than an on crit. Yeah. Probably the way it goes. Yep. All right. All right, let's do it. <laughs> At two, Brute. And this is really where you can see, Rise like, Baldur's, the grave. path of value of Baldur's power. He just chills out here, gets free skeletons, and buries units, you know? Like, a free skeleton's worth quite a lot, frankly. Yeah. Especially one that can move the second that you make it. <laughs> Aww. But he's a pup! Because he's a good boy! He's a Dago. good boy! Doggo. That wasn't quite overkill. Like, we actually only just got that. Very just. Yeah. I think we needed everyone to do that. Mm hmm. I could have if I'd rolled real badly on that swordsman, not killed him as well. Hmm. Like, I think that was correct oh, kill. Oh, I hate this map. Ah, this fucking map. I yes. hate this fucking map. Alright. Valda. I want it. I want to destroy it. <laughs> Wow, harsh, bro. Uh, sure. Uh huh. No. I don't either. I mean, we did in the campaign, right? This ends now. This is a very 
tiny, tiny map. Um, With some wacky ass terrain. Yes. Uh, if you can get like the, if you can choke him out and like grab him, this. If like, you can steal that village from them, like, it's hilarious. Good. If you don't, it's hell. Um, for sure. Probably gonna do. Yeah, that's the arcade mode. Um, so like it is just it's five maps. Symmetrical like that. Yep. Some of them are much bigger. We got two really small maps. There's yes. some really, really The maps. early ones tend to be oh, a bit smaller. One but... map I got where I, I, right at the start, I was getting like 1200 income a turn. Yes. And I just dragoned mm -hmm. on my way to victory, and it was really funny. Baldur's good. So yeah, the campaign. Pull up one. I have like an overview. I want to like. No. No. <laughs> To wander all the way around the map. Oh, yeah, Koji's the, the yellow two again. Sea maps. Oh yeah, we fixed Koji. Koji. Somehow. Yeah, and that's a uh, Sigrid and Sigrid one. And Sigrid's last chapter. Either yeah, one way, way back. That we didn't do. I think it mostly S's though, looking at these like Oh yeah. Rags. Um pretty good. Yeah, we didn't finish Caesar's we didn't do Caesar's second mission and we didn't do Caesar's final mission. Yeah, I think there was only like one. I remember where I got it. I think there was a bee somewhere. Oh, nice. I don't quite recall where. Do you like the same flag? <laughs> Good question. Because I've only seen uh Oh it doesn't tell me what I got. Okay. That one does. Why, why does this map not tell me what I got? Why, why is the, why is it gone? So weird! I know there's a bee somewhere, but it feels like the bronze flag is like... I'm not really sure. I definitely got a bee. I just don't remember I where I got it. I swear, I got a bee. I got that bee. Stars, right? Oh, that one also doesn't have any rank on it. Maybe those are the bees, then. Uh, maybe they are, then. Maybe if they don't have the rank, that was the bee. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Not bad, not bad. Mm hmm. All on difficulties. And when you beat an, R, uh, an arcade, you get the, You also uh, get their music. Their music. A plan! And you get them dancing, like see Which is extremely powerful That's and good. Extremely good. Yeah, we should try it sometime. Um, I don't know if I'm any good because I haven't played actual people in it. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm never playing PvP. Mm -hmm. Never. All right, God. Well, yeah, that's probably the end of Warger for now. Yeah. Gonna, sh I have two games to come up for next week. Good luck. But I, I don't have the brain power to come up. With Tactical games Tuesday games. on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're back with more dicey at seven mm -hmm. uh, Eastern, so about three hours time. Uh, we're probably gonna do some witch hardware bonus runs, die horribly. And then when they die horribly, we'll do some more Mega Quest. Yeah. Because Mega Quest is great. Mega Quest is awesome. We're having so much fun with Dicey. See you guys about three hours for Dicey, and I'm gonna have to come up with a new game. Mm hmm. Maybe I'll do a Patreon poll. I don't. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I just say we'll probably do the co op campaign, stream it, but. Yes, probably... we'll definitely stream it at some point as sort of like a future game. It has game. to be a proper game, like, because. Yeah. Your work is going to stop letting you off on Friday. Yes, There's around Labor point. Day, I think, is when Wait, they officially stop. Uh, like, September. Yeah. So, soon. Soon. TM. TM. They might continue it, but Summer Fridays is a pretty common thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, see you for Dicey. Later, that was Borger. Borger was fun. Borger's great. I really enjoyed that. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. New game next week. Mm-hmm.